from formation to taxation, covering inflation, temptation, high expectations, and that dreaded stagnation. We bring to you Hit Nation. Welcome to episode 15 of Hip Nation. Got a couple pretty cool cats in here with me today. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. How it starts. This is getting out to a good start. Right on. <laughs> he meows. That's awesome. Um, my name is Sarah. And uh, just a few housekeeping things to take care of before we get started. At the end of this episode, our guest will introduce or will tell us his book, recommendations uh should you decide to order that book for yourself please do so straight from our website at graphicallyhip.com slash podcast there's an amazon link such as we all love amazon i love amazon it's there (laughs) and uh, we get a kickback if you order from that link um next order of business Please hit the follow slash subscribe button or whatever button it is on whatever app you use to listen to us because it does actually help us on the back end with advertisers and all of that fun stuff. And I just found out <laughs> you're just itching. Well, I am itching because like last time you said smash that button. Oh, yeah, didn't smash you? That and button. I, again, I go back to smashing smash buttons. Smash that button. <laughs> Um, I just found out, my dad told me actually, that there's a rate button on Spotify. So you can rate our podcast. Five out of and five. And then we can like Not move up Whoa. in the rankings. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just wait. Uh, and we also have at the end of each podcast's description, uh, that's where I write, you know, kind of what the show is about. There is a link that says support the show. And that is a button where you can donate to us if you find this content valuable. Help us upgrade our equipment so we don't sound like we're in the back of a garage. <laughs> Just kidding, Steve. You're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, and without further ado, my guest co-host today is Jenny, mm-hmm. who I'm so happy because Jenny just makes the podcast fun and and funny. Funny. <laughs> and interesting. It's a good time. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. a good time. And it's it keeps me sober. That's not true. This is like the third That's not true. <laughs> As he looks at the beer in my hand right now. <laughs> it's a mimosa. Um yeah, this is the third Saturday. I'm actually not hung over. So wow. I'm trying something. Oh, she's like, turning a new leaf. Yeah, I'm off the beers. I'll be wow. on the gin tonight though. So we'll be making making up for lost time here. Um yeah. So I'm stoked to be back and doing this again and getting to know someone else in the community that I've never met before. So, yeah. Did did we ever give you a chance to talk about your, like, companies? No. Like, maybe you should just tell people what you do. I think I said last time I'm a photographer. And, yeah, but um, let's hear what your company's name is and all that fun stuff. Well, it's called Exposed Moments. Um, yeah, I, <clears throat> I look for those moments where... After someone tells you to smile, that's when I'll take the photo, basically, is when I get that actual moment of um, just genuine happiness. So Mm -hmm. that's why I called my business that. Um, Do a lot of boudoir photography and uh, corporate stuff, a lot of headshots and branding photos. And but I'm not opposed to shooting families (laughs) or kids. Okay, (laughs) I'd love to shoot some of those kids. I tell you, you can come to my house and shoot a couple if you want. (laughs) I creeped you on Facebook. Your kids look good. They oh, look they look so a cute. They look like a lot of facade. fun. Facade. So. Yeah. It's not really, they're not actually yeah, that cute. Social media in real facade. Life. Yeah. Totally. Smile, kids, please. Yeah. But be, yeah. Be good. Be good. <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I know. I always knew I was in trouble when my mom would like talk through her teeth and like her ch- her chin would come out. That's when I knew. I knew I was her getting ch- it when yeah. I got home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what about your side hustle? My side hustle is um, tattooing. So I work with Beauty and the Blade. I work out of her studio, which she's also my fiance. So um, we went into business together last year. 
Um, I was already used to kind of being her personal ass, so (laughs) 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 why not get paid to do it too? Um, But no, I did a a lot of training. Actually, I started in uh, doing uh, microblading and brows, and then I went on to do scar camouflage. So uh, it's paramedical tattooing is what I do. So helping people with their self-harm scars and their stretch marks and... Uh, breast augmentation scars, everything, facelifts. Um, yeah. So, Amazing. Yeah, nice. it's really cool. Wow. I just go in, I microneedle a scar, soften it up a little bit, and then go in with skin colored pigment. And um, it's like Photoshop in real life, I tell people. Crazy. Yeah. Can you do anything for me? My face? A little? Well, we'll <laughs> that. You Book a consultation. <laughs> But she also does I do actual t- tattoos yeah. as well. I've seen. Yeah. You yeah. started with little tattoos. Now you're doing not so little tattoos. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's I'm a lot gonna of I'm going to come and see you. Yeah. get something done. Let's do it. Awesome. Nice little teardrop. Or... Why don't we do it on the air? Ooh. 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 Wow. <laughs> that could be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> she could start with her famous line. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to start with the balls and work my way up. I always do that. If people can't see where I'm actually tattooing, I always say it. But, you know, I have a good friend of mine who started, like, it started off as my guinea pig. And every time we would do a tattoo, she'd let me put a dick on her. And now she's got several dicks. Shout out to Tannis for letting me put dicks all over her body. so great. Which is weird because you think being a lesbian, I wouldn't be attracted to drawing dicks. But (laughs) Well, you showed up here with balls on your feet. I know. I know. My Crocs have the nut sack. Again, thank you to Tannis for that one. Like, what an entrance to show up with oh, crocs on your nut sacks on your crocs. This is interesting. We haven't even started the questions yet. I know, I know this is awesome. <laughs> I knew I, as soon as I walked in and we had the same outfit on and okay, everything. That was, we need to tell people about this. Let's talk and about who Dwayne is first and what just okay. happened when I walked okay. in. Okay, okay, take it. Um, Dwayne, tell us who you are. Well, okay. Um, my name's Dwayne. I'm new to Penticton. Um, recently moved here from the coast about about a year ago. Um, born in South Africa, raised as an, a crazy African child till I was about nine years old, and then moved to Vancouver. Oh shit! And um, yeah, kind of just you know been in been in Vancouver for the last uh, what twenty five years, I guess. And the fam jam decided to make a change, and we. We took the opportunity and moved to Penticton. I love that you said the fam jam. The it fam wasn't just jam. you who made the decision. It was every. It was the whole family came well, to the, to the yeah, decision. No, no, it wasn't actually. It was me that made. You the decision. laid it down. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is I'm the boss. <laughs> no, to be honest, it's um, it's been a dream of mine for for years and years. Um, I grew up coming to the Okanagan as a kid for the summers. You know, it would always be the family vacation. A couple weeks, we'd go to a Soyuz, and that was like just a, a good memory in my in my head. So. Mm-hmm. Cool. I've always wanted to move to the Okanagan, but um, yeah, the time just wasn't right. And my wife has, you know, close family on the coast. And that was a, a big thing for her. That's That was her main yeah. main reason for not wanting to move was was being close to family. But um, the, uh, you know, with the, the things that happened over the last couple of years here with COVID and stuff um, kind of gave us an opportunity to, to step back and mm-hmm. and uh, make that leap. Cool. And, to be honest, we haven't looked back. It's been awesome. the best move ever. Sweet. All around. Yeah. Yeah, for Good. sure. Well, I have to say that we are the lucky ones here. Well, you are, yes. Well, I, don't <laughs> have, just, I don't know him as well as you do, so I'm not going to go there yet, but we'll you see. Yeah, don't. I know I liked you at the beginning, though. Yeah, well. I know. When it. you said his name was Dwayne, I was like, I have a cat named Wayne. I'm, I oh, see, no. So now I'm on the roll. Well, here we go. Best friends after this. <laughs> I think you already are. It's so. basically the same, Dwayne and Wayne, there right? There you go. We'll see. By the end, I might just give my cat the D, so... You might give your cat the D. The That's D? awkward. Dwayne. Oh, Dwayne. Oh, okay. <laughs> All I won't right. be giving any cats the D. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> um. So when when uh, Dwayne arrived here before Jenny, even though Jenny said she was going to be here early today, um, shit. So Dwayne was in here talking to me, and then Jenny walked in and. No shit. They're both wearing almost the exact same thing. And you'll see that in the photo that I put yeah. on, on the socials the day of the it's episode. It's just crazy. It's like brothers. Down to the hat. Like the logos <laughs> like on the hat. and The, the all same the... colors, the same amount of layers, the yeah. same hat. like The exact same. The Okanagan lifestyle hat. hat. Yeah. yeah. Freaking just wild. Really weird. <laughs> and Jenny's first words. Did we just become best friends? <laughs> I know. <laughs> you have to call me dragon. <laughs> 
Step Brothers, right? Oh, oh shit. Lord. This is amazing. <laughs> amazing. It's crazy, though. Yeah, the burgundy, the black. The, I can't oak, believe like it. The, it's just so weird. Yeah. You got yeah. good taste. Yeah. I is this like so. a universe thing? It is. It's always a universe thing. Uh, right? Everything let's vibrates. talk about the universe, Sarah. Yeah, let's. Oh, God. Is this you know what I deep? did last night? I don't want to know. I went and got a past life regression done. What's that? What the heck is that? So <clears throat> there's a lady in town whose name is Kathy Jones. Mm-hmm. And she does like Reiki and hypnosis oh, cool. and stuff like that. So I scheduled a past life regression and she she puts you in a hypnosis. And you're just sitting in a chair the whole time. And um, and then she gets you to dive into like your early childhood. But I apparently just skipped that and just <laughs> went right to my past lives. And she like gets you to bring up your past lives. What were you? So at one point... Uh, I went into four past lives. Holy what? The and hell? one of them, I was just a baby, so nothing significant there. Um, <laughs> Sat there and just shit your pants, or what? <laughs> yeah, I was. I was like, cry, like, I was being left on a bed, and there's all these actors and actresses around me, and nobody oh. was paying attention to me. Anyway, um, when I was in the in the army, mm-hmm. and that one was really, um, really powerful. Wow. Uh, the other one, I was a maid. I was like a 23-year-old maid, and I oh died a maid, and I always wanted to be a painter, but I never did get to. And yeah, it was just- You said all this stuff? It, like, yeah. Holy. And she just said, like, she sits and she talks to you, and she probes you for the answers, right? Like, she's asking you questions. You're providing the answers. Yeah. And based on, like, what right. you're seeing with your eyes closed. Crazy. But she'll be like, okay, and what was your name? And then she'll snap her fingers in your face, or like, right in your ear, and yeah. just whatever name comes up. In that second is like, Whoa. you just say the first thing that comes to your head is That's fucking trippy. wild. Do you remember Holy any shit. of it? Oh yeah. Oh so what? Like, yeah. Do you remember like everything? Everything. Do they oh. record it? Like, do you get to take it she home and listen it. to this? Like, um, you can pay for a recording. Yeah. I didn't pay for a recording, but yeah. um, she like takes notes while you're doing everything, and then she sends you a picture of stuff after. And, what? Yeah, it's, oh, it's give me her wild. card. I want to try that. Yeah. Awesome. You should okay. have her on the show. I should have her on the show. That would be sweet. Yeah, it was, and and it was really neat because the four different lives that I visited all have the same underlying theme to them, mm. which was... Um, you need to get a maid's outfit? <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. You're not cleaning enough. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, no. <laughs> I clean too much, but maybe that's significant too. Um, it was that I don't feel like I'm enough, which oh, is something we talked about in our previous yeah. podcast. Yeah, you imposter, you. Yeah. Holy shit. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Fuck, now wild. I really want to do yeah, it. Yeah, I want to do, do this too. Do it. Cool. Let's do it together, I'll send, I'll brother. Send you both. Yeah. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's see if we're really we related. Yeah. <laughs> and then she sent me home with this crystal. It's like this big chunk of crystal, like what? almost the size of a football. She's like, <gasps> you need to keep this for a week. Whoa. Almost and it's called much. Kyanite. Anyway. It. Google yeah, it. See no. what it's worth? I was just going to say, <laughs> what's that thing worth? Have you Googled it yet? No. Oh, I lost it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I lost it. You never it. gave it to me. What do you mean? <laughs> Prove it. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm going to put it on my desk because I'm here more than I am home and, yeah. and maybe some shit. I don't know. I'm not into crystals and stuff, but maybe some shit will happen. You never know. Yeah. Nice. Anyway, that was a big sidetrack. Big time. Mm-hmm. I like we were talking about universe stuff. Mm. Yes. And I know, Dwayne, you're um, you're in a universe. I'm a universe dude. Dude. Yeah. I've Are always been a universe? in universe. I yeah. wasn't until my fiance came along and like she just was a huge believer in it. And I was a huge skeptic. And then just <clears throat> everything always worked out for her. And I always chalked it up to horseshoes mm. up her ass. But then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to embrace this. It's worked for her quite a few times. Mm. Let's see what happens. And now I manifest and fucking yeah go for the universe big time mm. yeah that's so awesome yeah I've, I've seen such a big change and i don't know if it's because um you know when you're aware of something mm-hmm. it seems like it's more prominent around you but mm-hmm. i've seen a huge change in 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 um awareness of that kind of stuff yeah you know in social media and and everybody i, I don't know what it is but 
yeah. seems like nowadays everybody's on the vibration mm-hmm. train, you know, like yeah. I always make fun of like I used to make fun of people, too, that we're all into the universe and all that shit. So that's why I don't go out there. I'm like, yeah, universe, because I know that I'm annoying. Cause they, those fuckers used to annoy me, right? Like even when Lucy would say it, like, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> but, that's exactly how I say. Yeah, it. I know. Maybe I'll get there one day. That's yeah. what I keep saying. Yeah, anyway. I know. I'm annoying myself right now. I do it a lot. <laughs> I mean, it's it's cool to have something that you believe in. Yeah. Like whether it's real or not mm-hmm. is irrelevant. 100%. It's it's what you. Yeah. How you live and what your morals are. And Definitely. Yeah. 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 You could chalk it up to the universe or just whatever you're putting into something, you're going to see stuff come back. And it, whether it's, you know, the law of attraction or mm-hmm. the universe or what you're putting, like, just it could be anything. But it's fun to say the universe a little bit. Like, yeah. Just not wanting to take credit for your own hard work. And that's just because you're a piece of shit. The like shitty me. thing is, it's- <laughs> stop. Uh, you, can't, you can't ever prove it, right? It's kind of right. like, like religion right. or what mm-hmm. it's just you believe in it and. Yeah, there's, you know, we yeah. can't we can't prove it. But, yeah, that's right. Um, it seems to work. Yeah, it does work. Mm-hmm. I've always been I've been um, ever since I was as far back as I could remember as a little kid that there's been that that feeling that super super strong feeling towards um, how things work in the in the world and the, like behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely, yeah, I, mean, I agree, hundred percent. Vibrate, people, mm-hmm. vibrate in the right direction. <laughs> Doing it right now. Doing it right now. Where's Jenny on this? My phone's in my pocket, so I need all my friends to call me right now. If you can hear this, phone. (laughs) Hit that call back. Smash that button. Smash that button. (laughs) Um what kind of hobbies do you have? I know you have one that's pretty fucking cool, but what's what's that? Your skateboarding one. Oh yeah, skateboard. I'm I'm a um an adrenaline junkie mm. i like uh getting out and doing stuff so i got a lot of physical hobbies i do yeah. martial arts i do jiu-jitsu do you really i really do at, uh, at ptt at ptt nice yeah. i'm yeah. taking you to the bar with me for when i get that <laughs> that mouthy when i get into the tequila and i say stupid shit oh, we can just dress the same. have you I'll met my friend Dwayne? <laughs> <laughs> you know what my hobbies are motherfucker <laughs> yeah <laughs> Show them your jiu-jitsu yeah. moves. You do jiu-jitsu? <laughs> yeah, I've always Shit. been into martial arts since I was a little kid. I started out in karate and yeah, always always been a martial arts fan. What's but, your, um, what belt are you? I'm a, I'm a beginner again in jiu-jitsu. Oh, so okay. it's been years since I've been back to any kind of ac- physical activities. Yeah. Um, but I just need something. You know, when winter comes around, I'm, I'm always searching for something to mm-hmm. get me back. I'm just, yeah, winter's yeah. no good for me. And it's, it's a sad time. So, yeah. Just, yeah, I don't like the the winters. It's hard. It Frick is hard. Man. But yeah. it's a lot better here than on the coast because yeah. on the coast, it's gray and rainy and that yeah. sucks. Like yeah. for six months nonstop waking up to that yeah. is terrible. But waking up to this, like. Mm-hmm. When know? did you leave South Africa? How old were you? I was eight, nine. Okay. So pretty early. So pretty good weather there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sun all the time is it hot as fuck down there hot as fuck yeah, yeah. and they're you know the it's opposite to us so when it's winter here it's summer there so they got oh, christmas what? it's so weird because you know you spend christmas on the beach and yeah it's yeah. like yeah. oh neat yeah That's so cool south yeah. africa is like california okay it's this, this very similar kind of, well where i'm from i'm from a coast durban little mm-hmm. city on the coast and it's a little surf little surf town cool yeah that's where the adrenaline started that's eh? where it all started yeah. Um, why were you guys there in the first place? And then why did you come here? Well, I'm, or, my or... family's my, you know, like my whole family going back is from South Africa. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, was born and raised there. Parents were born and raised there. Mm-hmm. Their parents were born and raised there. Oh, cool. Yeah. And, um, you know, just came out. T- my dad was a, was a police officer actually in South Africa. And, oh, um, that must've been a lot of fun for him. Then. Oh yeah. Just insane. <laughs> no kidding. Because, uh, yeah, there's obviously a lot of um political yeah you know just crazy stuff going on right so um yeah it was it was uh an interesting time i remember did he do the same thing when he came here no um when he moved here he started a uh, security company okay cool and that's what he did for a while and then we kind of ventured into the sign business which i'm sure Mm. we'll touch on here Mm -hmm. maybe a little bit hey Mm -hmm. but um yeah that's that's 
where I'm from. Cool. Did, did they leave South Africa like for a reason or just kind of Absolutely. wanted to change? Yeah. yeah. No, for um because of the violence. It's just getting wow. yeah, in just insane. Insane. That's a big move to a go all people, the way from there to Canada. Yeah. yeah, totally. And um I don't know if it was I mean the right move at that time. It was just a move. Yeah. Do, what why Canada? Just because of the um, diversity and yeah, I, I, I don't know the exact reason, but um, my dad and my uncle came out here first and did a little uh, tour and, and was like, "Yeah, this is the place." Cool. But they came out in the <laughs> summer, and of course, yeah, yeah. So yeah. It was, yeah, it was nice. Like, yeah, this is the place. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure if they had come in the winter, they would have been like, "Yeah, let's go to Australia." Or yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. But uh, here you are. Here I am. Yeah. Cool. It's like a, years later. a butterfly effect or something, right? Yeah. Just that one time. That that one, I, I believe it's called the universe. <laughs> oh, fuck, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> just dance around that one, hey? Call it yeah. every other name but the universe. Right, right. And I'm just going <laughs> yeah. to keep on digging it in there until you become a believer, Sarah. Yeah, maybe one day. Are you not a believer, Sarah? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, what? I thought you were. No, she hates no, it. No, I feel like... Oh, um, my God. It... To me, it, I don't think the universe owes me anything. So for me to ask it anything, like, I believe there is a universe with the stars and the planets. That You're I believe. of that universe. I don't believe that there is a, a, the air that provides something to me. <laughs> I think if I want something, I work hard it's and I get you. it. Yeah. You, yeah. you like the fact that, that you determine yes. where you go. Definitely. Not the universe. Yep. Got it. Yeah, mm. totally. I do think that everything happens for a reason. For sure, but mm-hmm. but I don't I don't chalk it up to universe. Interesting, because you yeah. you you kind of have that other side where you believe in like you know the past lives, yeah, and, and all that kind of stuff. But I know, you, I know, it's, it's and very relatable. And t- like, so to be very honest, I don't know if those really were my past lives that I was seeing, just a movie or if they or were something. like <laughs> yeah something I saw in a movie mm-hmm. and it just came to my head in that time yeah. or whatever. But the underlying message, yeah, that right. I got from that experience, mm-hmm. that was real. Totally, yeah. 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 Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Even if it was like a past movie or something that you saw, it was something that resonated with right. you. So it yeah. stuck with you. So it's there in your head for a reason. The universe probably put it there. Um, so <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and you never know. Like I was in a state of hypnosis yeah. and I've been mm-hmm. hypnotized before. Have you? So it, it very well could be something that we tap into our brains, which I I totally believe in that. And mm-hmm. thank God it wasn't a dirty movie. Yeah, right. Right. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> I'm not going to watch porn for a okay. month before okay. I go to do this thing. <laughs> How come you're always naked in all your past lives? <laughs> and she does ask Starts you, what are you wearing? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> My <Stilettos>. Crocs. <laughs> That's hilarious. Twizzler bikini. Twizzler bikini. <laughs> <laughs> what? And a bikini. Again? Damn it. Okay. <laughs> This is hilarious. Okay, let's get back to skateboarding. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Skate- yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I got other hobbies. Yes, yeah, skateboarding, fishing. I do a lot of fishing. Well, I that's like extreme. That is it. <laughs> you would try to you're doing. But. How do you make it extreme, though? I feel like you would. I feel like you would do it on a skateboard. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, why not? Whatever's yeah. While you're water skiing, yeah, just like <laughs> fucking cast your rod <laughs> with his bare hands, just <laughs> scooping them up on the way by. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so yeah fishing fishing um dirt biking you know anything oh, cool. else hiking you yeah. dirt bike i dirt bike yeah the whole Did family I know dirt bikes i creeped his facebook hard before I this I and like that. you've really embraced the okanagan lifestyle oh it is like, the place for us yeah, yeah. Like, we can do all the outdoor things here yeah it's so nice yeah that's awesome it is so awesome the kids, great for the kids hey? it is great for, and and honestly that was <clears throat> my big like um determining factor for moving here was was the kids i want them to grow up in this lifestyle being mm-hmm. able to jump on their bikes and go to the lake with friends you know and mm-hmm. and whatever go swimming and fishing and live that outdoor lifestyle that real outdoor lifestyle that's yeah. you know very prominent here it is it yeah. is and there's no excuse not to embrace it and enjoy it here it's right in your face and right on your doorstep mm-hmm. um so yeah i, no I really wanted this to be for the for the kids yeah mm-hmm. yeah that's amazing what a um what an awesome dad your kids have and mom I've, I've met your wife and she's yeah. first of all she's such a cutie pie <laughs> mm. oh yeah i creeped her too yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also she's just so sweet she is 
unbelievable. She's yeah. so amazing. I haven't so had amazing. a chance to hang out with her yet, but I'm sure Funny that story, time will come. Too, How'd you Let's meet? hear. Let's hear it. I was I was really hungover. It was a Saturday. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't know if I had much sleep. Oh, well, that yeah. was a good <laughs> night then. Yes, but I was walking my dog down by the beach. I was um, where were we? It was uh, in Vancouver, English Bay. We're in English Bay. So oh, I was walking my dog. Nice. And I saw this cute girl in a little skirt, a little dress, and she smiled at my dog. That was and your wife now? That was my oh, wife okay. now, yeah. Oh, okay. was a different girl? No. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this cute girl in a, in a skirt, and then I saw my wife. And, uh, <laughs> anyways, so she smiled at my dog, and I proceeded to follow her. That's very creepy now that I'm saying this out loud. I, I followed her for, for quite a while, and then... Um, <laughs> Like, like, like a while. Physically, at I the physically beach? followed her down the seawall, not like in a weird way. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, right. I'm backpedaling. I'm trying to back pedal out of. How this, many times but... did she look back over yeah. her shoulder? Like, <laughs> like did, is she, this, did, did this she happen? happen to start walking faster? She was, and I was like, "What the hell's going on here?" So I had to, you know, catch up. But um... <laughs> what is she reaching for? <laughs> a pen to take down my phone number? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so I got the courage to stop and talk to her, and uh, now we have two kids, and I've been married for 13 years. Cool. Two boys. Two boys. Yeah, you got your hands full. Oh, my God. Do we ever? Yeah, it's crazy. Would, are, are you sticking with the two boys? Are you going to try for nope. more? That's it. That's it. That's it. I would love to have another child, but I want to skip the whole like kid part of it. Yeah. Like, can they come out when they're like five? Or yeah, six, yeah, yeah. You know? Then they're cool. And, and they're their cool. Personalities. And yeah, we can do stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm not into another baby. Like a baby is cool in its time when you're in that yeah, frame of, of mind. But then, like once you get to a certain age, it's like, yeah. Can, can you like? I know people that can we skip to the good part. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, right. I know people at, at my age that are like accidentally having kids or whatever. It's like, <laughs> whoops. How are you? dealing with that right yeah, now I, yeah i couldn't imagine no thank god i'm shooting blanks because yeah. i couldn't have <laughs> 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 jesus christ <laughs> no i couldn't though at a certain age you just get settled and you just right? you know you become you, it's fair to say you're selfish a little bit you yeah, but, selfish, yeah you're right? comfortable you're like, and you're... yeah you and lucy mm -hmm. a baby would look good on you I've seen you hold babies in pictures and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love other people. Yeah, all right. But Great. imagine Sweet. your own. Like, mm -hmm. oh my God, you guys would just make the most amazing parents. Thank you. Thanks yeah. for saying that. But we'll stick with the cats. Little cross yeah. balls. Cool. We've, got, we've got one cat that's got asthma and he's on a puffer right now. And oh, then we've got what? another one who's who's got anxiety and he's on <laughs> fluoxetine, which Shut is like up. Prozac. So we're doing really good on the cat front. We should definitely have kids. Oh, smokes. <laughs> You have to I give it a know. puffer? Yeah, he's got a chamber that attaches to the puffer, and we got to freaking headlock him and give him two puffs in the morning and two puffs at night. Whoa, yeah. crazy. Sounds he, like me. <laughs> so, yeah, we'd be great with kids. <laughs> Fuck. What the hell? Your ca And your other cat has anxiety? Yeah. Like, how does that, that, how does that, that? that? How do you figure that one just out? Just a lot of Doesn't hissing and a lot house. of coming at us <laughs> and just pissed off and oh some God. behaviors that uh, Lucy did you. a lot of cleaning up. So... <laughs> I'm not touching that. Wow. Shit. Okay. Um, yeah. So. Jeez. Also, I mean, it doesn't get more stereotypical than that. Like two lesbians, three cats. They all have fucking issues. <laughs> <laughs> like nobody's gonna want to give us their sperm. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Vancouver. Hey. Vancouver. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, so you were there in business with your brother. I was family. There. Family, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. family business. So, um, so we actually moved to. We got. I forgot about this part. We kind of got sick of Vancouver, and we moved to California for a few years. Oh, oh no way! Just forgot about that. Yeah, just kind of forgot <laughs> yeah. about that. It was a, it was kind of a short stint. Mm -hmm. um, this kind of happened uh, pre nine eleven. Okay. And then after nine eleven, um, my dad's visa got revoked because they didn't want to let anybody else stay in the states or whatever it was so right oh that must have been hard right like my yeah. my i mean luckily for me i was out of high school i was finished school but my brothers were still in school we had a house we had <clears throat> everything and mm -hmm. it was literally my parents came back um actually we all came back up here to, to visit and we tried to go back over the border and they're like nope Shit. yeah my parents were like what do you mean no we have uh you know our life is there yeah our, 
pets are there. We have a house. We have the kids go to school. And they're like, nope, you guys cannot come back into the States. Holy shit. So it was like. What? Yeah. It was literally, um, I don't remember the exact, exactly what happened, but. Uh, Just call up the neighbor. Hey, we need you to watch our shit for a while or that's what? That's pretty much. Yeah. No and way. then went there. They had to get rid of the house. And within a few weeks, we we're back here. Holy. Oh. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Holy shit. So. S- yeah. Where was it going with that? What uh, What were you guys doing there? The family business kind oh, of. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So, um, so, we, so we moved there for a better lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know, like I mentioned, moving from a nice warm place to Vancouver kind of took its toll on us. And mm-hmm. so we moved there to get back to the sun. And um, after we got, you know, kicked out of the States, mm-hmm. um, my dad was looking for something to, to do in, in Vancouver, a business to start or purchase. And he found a little screen printing shop um, that was owned by a couple brothers. Mm -hmm. And um, he purchased that and him and I together started building this little business that only did screen printing, small little shop in West Forth. And um, we kind of built that to, uh, to a big digital and fabrication sign shop. My brother joined us, my mom worked there, my dad, my brother, my other brother at one point for a very short time, and my wife. Wow. So I worked for a long time with, yeah. With family. With with family. Holy shit. And this was a large company, correct? This is, yeah, well, we had uh, 30 employees. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, so, that's, that's significant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. fairly large company. And um, yeah, but uh, man, working with family. That's what I wanted to ask, actually. Mm-hmm. We'll just get right into that then, like. I was going to wait till the end, but um, tips and tricks, working with family, do's and don'ts, because wow. I work with my fiance and, yes. you know, we know kind of when to stay in our lane right. and she, I just stay in my lane. I stay the hell away from her. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Yeah. I know who the boss is when we're at work. <laughs> Sometimes she can merge into your lane, but you just stay in your Yeah, house. she can merge, but I got to stay on the freaking <laughs> shoulder, man. I'm in the ditch. Well, she is like she's the boss yeah she's, she's kind of the boss. boss but um yeah what's it like what like what it how did is, you guys keep doing it for so long you know what it is the hardest thing it is so so hard to kind of separate that work and home life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um but you have to like christmas is where you like see you at work like i don't want to see you for two weeks over christmas you know like, what you, you, kind of yeah. but no 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 like outside of work we we always came together as a family whether we wanted to or not you know yeah mm-hmm. um but uh it is so tough it's so tough like it's not only just the you know working with your family but the whole everything around it like for mm-hmm. me and working for my dad and feeling like you know as a as a son working for your for your parent and and um maybe not feeling like you're doing enough and and this is business now right like this Mm -hmm. is this is not as much as it is family it's business Mm -hmm. so um yeah it's a it's tough it is so tough working with family i would imagine um when you're trying to separate business from personal Mm -hmm. but you also work with your wife yeah Mm -hmm. How hard is it to come home and talk about something that isn't work related because you're just together at work all day? Exactly. Like that's all it would be. That. It's fucking hard. <laughs> it yeah. is. We do that. We you, do it a lot. Right. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, when I would go to my, go over to my parents' house, all we talk about is work mm-hmm. and we end up like fighting or arguing and, mm-hmm. and it's the same, not, not, you know, at home we would talk about work too, but that's, you know, it's a given. It's your life. You spend what? 70, 80% of your life at yeah. work. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, and if you didn't work together, you'd you'd come home and talk about how your day was at work. And yeah, right. So, that's true. Yeah, right. But yeah. it's it's hard because um, you do want that separation. You do want that time. You know, with your wife that's not a coworker, or um, you know, to go to your parents' house that aren't you know part of your your business or something. So it, it is tough. But on the other end, it it has its benefits as well, right? Huge, huge benefits. Yeah. Um. And those are, I mean, endless. Um, so it's good and bad, but mm-hmm. it also comes down to your family dynamic, right? Yeah, I mean, how, sure. how do you work as a family? How have you worked as a family? And then mm-hmm. that's going to translate into yeah. your business. What's and, one thing you would say don't do then when you're working with your significant other? Don't. Wow. Um, 
or you can list them off if you want. Yeah, like, <laughs> you have like a whole laundry list. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't look them in the eye. <laughs> Don't challenge them Don't on any of their back. ideas. So yeah. these, here's my list. Don't talk back. Don't look me in the eye. No. Don't <laughs> use your fists. Yeah. I was going to say the wife is always right, but that yeah. doesn't really apply to Jenny. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that you know would just what? be a fight. Yeah. <laughs> you got to, if, if you can't let things go when you get home, yeah. Um, then you're going to have a problem, right? Yeah. You can't, it's work is work and home is home. Yeah. Let's revisit this. I think we do that a lot where we just say like, let's just leave this for now and then we'll come back to yeah. it. So yeah, I think that definitely helps knowing to just take a break and then come back with maybe go yeah. eat something or go. Oh, of course. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. That works. Yeah. That works really well with, with any yeah. If I'm tired or just... hungry, I can't have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Yeah. 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 And I'm always tired. Yeah, but yeah. um, is that just because you work so much? No, it's because I don't sleep enough. Oh. I'm a I'm a three o'clock in the morning wake wake up person. What I know, Holy. it's we could you know come what? in earlier. Yeah, I know. Three it's, o'clock. That's gross. It is gross, but it's also not gross. I used to hate it. <laughs> I'll tell you why. But I used to hate it. Um, but then I started embracing it and in, and just going to bed earlier. And I found that this is my normal sleep cycle. Like okay, this is where I get the, the most amount of sleep. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, three o'clock on the dot, three, three fifteen. I'm awake every day. Mm -hmm. um, you do the best work in the morning too. Do you feel like you're, yeah. that's when you're well, I've, ready to go? Totally. Mm -hmm. Right now in the winter, it's kind of hard to get motivated to get up. It's cold and dark and whatever, mm -hmm. but usually I get up emails. I mm -hmm. go for a walk down to the beach when, when the light comes up, the sun comes nice, up, take nice. the dogs out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I find jumping, <clears throat> excuse me, getting right onto my um, kind of answering emails and, and starting my, my work day and you get like three or four hours of mm. stuff to do. Like you can accomplish so much when no one else is awake and oh, you're sitting yeah. there like just, you know, there's, the phone's not ringing, the kids aren't doing this, mm -hmm. the, you know, emails aren't coming. It's just, you can just focus on what you need to do. No one else is awake mm -hmm. and the, the energy of the world's really, really quiet. Yeah, so, that's, that is true. And a good point. Yeah. Very yeah. good point. I still think three o'clock is too early. It's though. a love-hate relationship. <laughs> I f some days I'm like, fuck, I hate this. And, yeah. and I do fall back asleep sometimes and wake up and I'm like... You almost feel worse though when you, you do that, hey? You feel worse. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. I know. I'm, you just got to embrace it. Just and get up and get on get, with you it. You do. And you then, really do. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> so, I wonder if that has to do with one of your past lives. Yeah, I wonder. Mm. But also you're from a totally different time zone originally. Yeah. So maybe like... It's relating back I'm still to still dealing with that. I'm what, still dealing with what, that. What, <laughs> what time it's a when, long jet lag, man. <laughs> Twenty-five years I've been trying to get rid of this shit. <laughs> just can't get rid of this fucking uh. jet lag, man. I just won't even. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's that. That's where Sarah. you're going with that, right, sir? <laughs> okay, but okay. Sometimes. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> shit like that happens. It does, it yeah. does happen, it totally right? Does, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, I, I don't think jet lag is the answer here, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, that flight, man, I'm telling you. Man. <laughs> 25 years 25. ago. <laughs> Maybe oh I need my to God. listen to that hip I'm like system. cry laughing oh, over here. Where are you right now? I'm in a plane. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this fucking jet lag is killing me. Okay, wake up. What's your name? <laughs> I feel like oh, I haven't slept boy. in 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> There's a really good show on TV called Manif I think it's called Manifest. Oh, I want to watch it. It's on my it's list. Good. Oh, dude, it's on my list. That's the one with really the plane, good. right? Yeah. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah, yeah. I want to see that. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, so let's <laughs> talk about jet lag. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so then you came to Penticton. You went from Vancouver. Yes. You sold your business there, right? Well, I sold my shares. Yeah. So... Um, I sold my, my, my dad ended up leaving, or my parents moved to Florida about four years ago to chase the sun. And um, my dad left the business to uh, my brother and I, my younger brother and I. And um, yeah, I sold my shares to my brother and now it's his business. Wow. So, wow. Yeah. You just said, fuck it? I just said, fuck it. I've always said, you know what, I've, I've and this is kind of, you know, based on, on the whole money thing. Mm. Um, it's never been a, a determining factor for me and it's never been something that's, you know, um, 
made me want to stay at a job or do anything for that matter based on on finances. So I've always gravitated towards um, lifestyle rather mm-hmm. than financial or um, job security or, or anything like that. It's always been about um, life and and that rather than <clears throat> work. Mm-hmm. Right, because you hate money. I f- fucking hate money. I yeah. hate money, and I and and honestly, it is the one of the roots of all evil it is like wars and mm-hmm. murders and but i mean it's anything mm-hmm. but um it's true though and i i actually really love that about you that you hate money i think it's cool that people hate money mm-hmm. uh yeah it, it should be something people hate the last it is the last thing on my list when when um you know i have to determine things it's not it, it never first mm-hmm. yeah just hate the fact that you need it so much. Right. right? That's it, right. That's, that is the thing I know. Yeah. 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 Especially you now with groceries. Holy no fuck. Kidding. Yeah. They're getting God. a little crazy. Yeah. Like 80 bucks the other day on dairy. Well, definitely don't have kids then. Because <laughs> yeah. like yeah. 80 bucks, thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Gladly pay oh, that. All the meds for the cats are really yeah. adding up to here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, okay, so yeah, you sold your so- your shares to your brother. I sold my shares to my brother. Said, fuck it. Yeah, said fuck it, and um, convinced my wife Alicia to to think about moving out here, and that's it. And we did. And then, like, it seems like when did you move here? Like six months ago? Uh, it was almost a year. It was um, year April. Ago? Holy shit! So April not that after. long. Not God. I'm new. I'm new and to- like pretty quickly, you got established with your own business. I did. Um, luckily enough, I have uh, I have a background in installation, um, which is always needed in in the sign industry. All for, it's you know it's a um, position that uh, isn't uh, fulfilled or filled in the, in the industry very much. Mm-hmm. So um, I did have a a good opportunity moving here to contact some um, existing sign shops and and kind of help them out and. Um, in doing so, I kind of found a um, uh, a lull in in the industry here, and, and a need for for certain products that that people couldn't um, access, and a uh, um, yeah, I just I just found a, a little a niche and mm-hmm. and decided mm-hmm. to fulfill that. So um, instead of just being an installation company, I decided to expand and and start a sign shop, a full um, service sign sign shop, and. Mm-hmm. Kind of fill those gaps that are missing in in Penticton in the uh, the sign and graphic industry. So yeah, cool. So you guys are sort of like friendly competition in a way. Yeah, yeah, we are. Cool yeah. way to embrace that. I yeah, know, he right? does more of the larger, I think, projects, and I'm more. If I'm making a sign for someone, it's probably just some little, right? You know, no bigger than yeah. We're eight in, by four type totally. sign, but it's big to them. The exacts. We're in the same industry. <laughs> Don't downplay that shit. <laughs> Depends on the angle, but. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I haven't heard that in so long. Is it four by eight or eight by four? Um, <laughs> Depends on the this angle. This is important, people. Will that sign get bigger? I once <laughs> had someone ask me for a quote on a four by eight banner and another quote on an eight, eight by four banner. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was nice. like, mm, okay. Yeah, but that'll cost you extra for yeah. two quotes. Yeah. If you were smart, you would have marked, marked the one up. I should have. <laughs> I was just an employee back then. This was a long time ago, and I was just like, I love and those clients. I once had someone ask me for a quote on some arrow decals. Arrow. Like arrows. They just wanted a bunch yeah. of arrows, but mm-hmm. they wanted eight left facing oh, arrows yes. and eight I, right I facing this. arrows. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay. I feel like I would um, do something what? less stupid. I don't totally know. <laughs> Jenny's still trying to figure out, well, why can't you yeah. do that? Yeah. No, what, get it. What's, <laughs> what's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and I need five pointing up and five pointing yeah, down. Right? <laughs> I did make sure to <laughs> facetiously cut them in the in the direction that they asked for, though, just, just so they could see that I listened. Oh, oh, nice. But yeah, we are competitors. But you know what? We're um, we work together a lot, mm-hmm. and um, in this industry, you need support. Mm-hmm. Um, not. Like no one does everything. It's such a vast industry, so you need to um, partner with people mm-hmm. in order to grow your business and move forward. So you're not saying no, we don't do that. You know, you you got to 
find those people that you can work with. Mm -hmm. um, it's important in in any industry to mm -hmm. have allies and, and people you can count on. Absolutely. And, yeah. We and talked trust about that and yeah. all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, so. I 100% agree. And we had talked about that in our episode that we did together about the imposter syndrome and like leaning into the competition and yes. mm -hmm. learning from them mm -hmm. and also having them to pass off the clients that you don't want. Totally. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get <that. laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh, moving on but it is it's good it's it's healthy and it's a new school way of doing business i it find is. it's not right? it's the old school cutthroat like don't go see them come see mm -hmm. me and That's i think social media has kind of helped everybody mm -hmm. come together because i jump online and i look at all my like all the you know sign mm -hmm. people doing stuff on on instagram and i'm like yep. oh you're you're rad. I want to, you know, I want to be friends with you or I want to yeah, connect yeah. with you or whatever. Yeah. So. And be able to have a conversation with them. Like, it's really cool when you have something in common with somebody without even knowing them. Totally. You know that you can sit down with them and at least you've got that to build off mm -hmm. of. And then you can just go from there and they're probably a really cool person. Yep. Right. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Having, and at the end of the day, thing. we are all just people, right? Like yeah. there's, there's no need for this cutthroat. I mean, I shouldn't say there's no need. There are some industries mm -hmm. where they have to be cutthroat. There is no other way to do business. Mm -hmm. But I think on the whole, mm -hmm. not that whole, Jenny, mm -hmm. <laughs> on the whole, you don't have to be. And the word of the day is. <laughs> Are you still doing the code no, word? No, no more code word. Oh. That's just the code word for me. So come see me later if you've heard the code word. <laughs> It's true. And yes, we are all people. And, and that's exactly, it comes down to who you are as a person. Um, and that, that um, overflows into, into your work life, right? And into your, um, how you are as, as, uh, as an owner of a company. If, you know, if you're not a nice person or you're not, what it, it, you're not going to cherish those um, or embrace those relationships with other companies. You're not. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, I know a ton of shops out there that want nothing to do with with other shops and, unless they need something right mm -hmm. right unless but they... even then like i've worked for a lot of different print shops not just here like all over western right. canada and um even when uh, there's many shops i've worked at where even if like you know an ink ran out and they needed an ink to finish a print job they i'm not would... calling the competition oh for sure like they just too much pride absolutely right? mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. totally mm -hmm. yeah yeah but but some I think some, it's cool if you can call and you know sure. if I got something that can help you out exactly. absolutely totally. take it as long as I don't immediately need it right mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I mean I think that's just part of being a good person but I agree yeah that's just 100%. me yeah um now that you've been a business owner for how many years um I've been a business owner for I don't know twenty years. 20 fucking years. 25. Could you imagine mm. having to go and like be an employee full time? Oh. No. Working for a boss. Working for the man. Yeah. I saw, it was written down here, the man. And the I, man. I went straight to like, I would rather work for a man than ever work for a woman again. Really? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, the industry that I was in before I worked, it was like over eight years and it was a lot of women in that yeah. industry. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, can we just get rid of some of these fucking yeah. feelings yeah. and these emotions <laughs> and get some simplicity in here? Let's do it with a We're guy. We need some balls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah I... But yes, working for the man, is like as they yeah. say. So would you, do you think, is that something you could no. ever see yourself doing ever Absolutely again? Absolutely not. No. Never. No. Yeah. No, this is... There's no no turning back. <clears throat> you got you have too much freedom, too much um, you know, you're like you said you want to be in charge of your life, right? This is when you're the boss of your business, you you direct where your business goes, who you do business with, what kind of business you do, mm -hmm. everything. So, um being told who, what, when, where, why, um and working for someone that doesn't have the same beliefs or the same mm -hmm. You know, all those kinds of things it might not be a nice person or whatever it is. Um, I couldn't, couldn't. No. Yeah. And, yeah. and I have way too much fun being a, being a business owner. Well, and you don't have to work as hard. <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> or you have to work twice as hard. Exactly. Be your own boss, they said. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Vacation. Was that meme? It's like, yeah. or that reel that I says, uh, I used to work, I didn't like working nine to five, yeah. so I started my own business. Now I work 24-7. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Know, we got to do that real. We should do that one. Yeah, we but should. But that's, you know what, when you're growing a business and you're passionate about it, um, it's not, it's not work. Yeah. It's part of your life. And that's, that's what I feel like you want to do, right? You want to have, 
um, your business be kind of incorporated in your life so that it's, it's part of it. So that you're not, um, I don't know. You're not building somebody else's freaking you know, dream, right? Yeah, you're building like, your own and yeah. 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 I so, love that. Yeah, I I really enjoy being being my own boss and and owning a business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And does your wife own it with you? Or she does. She, yeah. Yeah. She's not like an employee or she is an employee. She actually still works for my brother. So she oh, okay. um she's handled a lot of big accounts there for, for a number of years and she works remotely for him, but she also works at the shop as well. Oh, conflict of interest. Love it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but not really. Not I really. Guess. Yeah. <laughs> Different towns. She's a everything. double agent, that wife of yours. <laughs> totally. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's, it is, it's good. How have you found um, starting a business in, in the Okanagan or in Penticton? Has it been hard? It, um, yeah, it has been, it's been difficult um, just because I think starting a business in such a, I mean, it depends on what business it is, but in such a small community, um, such a tight based community, mm -hmm. uh, a community that's used to dealing with, um, you know, locals or, or a business that they have been dealing with for years and years mm -hmm. that an established business. Trying to change their <clears throat> Trying mind. to change their, like, come over to me. I'm, I'm a new person in, in towns. Why? How, yeah, you know, yeah, why? for sure. Right? It's hard, so, and it, it's hard in Penticton, especially. And I think um, your your guest on the last one, she had mentioned that too. That um, Penticton is a hard place to to meet people, mm -hmm. and it's it's super clicky. And it is. My fiance has said the same thing. She's lived all over the world and said this is the hardest place it's ever been to make friends. Totally, because it's so clicky here. Huh. Um, but yeah, and it's not the first time I've heard that. So yeah, and 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 I kind of feel like um, the locals don't really want too many people move in here, which I totally understand. Mm -hmm. And now that I'm a local, I'm like, yeah, don't move here. We don't need more people. <laughs> I <can laughs> tourists. just moved here like eight months ago. Like, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. But you're, so we are both in an industry that is quite saturated in this small town. Yes. And, and getting more saturated. Yeah. By the day. Right? By the day, at least by the month. But yes. anyway, yeah. Um, so. Because everybody's got a cricket now. I have well, always, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Cricket and Canva. Stop you with the cricket. You know how many crickets I've seen for sale on, oh, on I know, right? <laughs> Craigslist or whatever in the last <laughs> yeah. couple of months? Like, you bought this thing, you couldn't figure out how to use it, and now it's... Well, yeah. But that's cool. Yeah. Cool. It's it's a hobby cutter, It's right? a hobby cutter. It's meant for people who do scrapbooking and things mm -hmm. like that, and, and cool if someone makes it even bigger than that. That's totally. rad, but it's not an industrial cutter, that's for sure. So why yeah. do you think that there's more up and coming than, like, there's... Besides the whole cricket thing, you're saying that there's even more competitors coming up in your guys' industry in Penticton? It does seem it does like seem like it. Like yeah. um like I think people are moving here and that's what they know, so that's what they do. Right, okay. It's yeah. not like it's not so much people who are already here starting their right. own thing. Right. Right? Exactly. right. Like yeah. like Dwayne. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Just like Dwayne. Yeah. Yeah, I think um when you I think a lot of people, when they decide to move to a place like Penticton, um, they're, they want to come here and start their own business. I don't mm -hmm. know. It just seems like it's a kind of a, kind of a thing. Yeah. Is it kind of a thing? I yeah. Don't it, I don't know. I don't know. I think. Um, it seems like there's it, a lot of entrepreneurs here and a lot of women entrepreneurs. I've never really? seen so many women owned companies in a place like unbelievable the amount of of women run businesses in penticton cool is unbelievable I'm start keeping track you guys haven't noticed that i'd have to make a move for a new I'm um, sitting here in a room sugar with two, mama here two. well there's uh so there's penticton women in business it's a yeah. uh, an organization in town mm -hmm. and so i guess yeah i've met a lot of women business owners um but it never occurred to me that there was like more here than there were somewhere else mm -hmm. it is it's yeah totally yeah yeah um, and in comparison to being in business in Vancouver, mm -hmm. I've always thought that, you know, should I, should I move to Calgary tomorrow and try and start my business there, mm -hmm. um, from scratch, mm -hmm. how would I possibly compete in a city as big as Calgary or Vancouver or yeah. whatever other big <clears throat> city, right? Because when you start a business in a small community, you have the opportunity to network right. with most of the big players. Mm -hmm in town um you have the opportunity to be able to give back to your community and be noticed for it mm -hmm. yeah. and in a big city that's 
I mean, those are things that are important to mm. me, right? Mm-hmm. In a big city, you can't just move to a big city and be like, oh, here's my business. I'm going to donate some money to this. I'm going to donate my time to no. that because nobody would know, no. right? Exactly. In a small town, people notice that stuff. A hundred percent. Yeah. And that's <clears throat> kind of why it, it is tough to break out in this market where I feel like it's easier in a um, in a larger city because- really? Yeah, definitely. You got <clears throat> so many more fish to catch, you know, like your, oh, okay. your, your net's so yeah. much broader and- um, it's not so clicky and it's not, people don't really have a place that they're going to and they won't notice if you're a new shop that's just popped up and opened and they're not, you know, it's it's just so much more diverse. There's a hundred sign shops, um, or sorry, there's in, in BC, I think there's 900 sign shops in BC. What? Yeah. Wow. Isn't that insane? Holy shit. Yeah. There might be more now. This was a couple of years ago. But, Golly, um, you did some market research. Holy shit. <laughs> well, I used to be on the uh, BC Sign Association. Ah. The director of the uh, BC Sign Association. So. Oh, wow. Yeah, I know a few. We got a freaking celebrity right here. <laughs> 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 now so I'm, I'm nervous. Director, <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, that was cool. I get to see the other side of the industry and um, uh you learn a lot of things and you, you network. It's a really good networking place to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, being any, on any board, as, yeah. as you know, Sarah, yeah. It's, yeah. Um, the networking and, and stuff is unbelievable. So, Oh, that's my printer cleaning oh. itself. Oh, that's what it is. Probably people <laughs> like can't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> we still take a break here so we can go do that. <laughs> Go lick ourselves. I need to go clean myself. <laughs> I, I just shower, but I don't know about you guys. <laughs> you know, I always wondered too if I move, if I was to go and and branch out to like Kelowna um, as a photographer because it's such mm-hmm. an oversaturated market with photographers, right? So I always wondered if it would push me though out of my comfort zone, like just like leaving my real job to go and work for myself. I had to work harder and then I was able to see what I was more capable of right. and I was shocked by how, what I was capable of um, so then moving from like a small town to a bigger town it, you're forced to work maybe a little bit harder to get yourself out there and do these little things on just such a bigger scale so right. um, I think you, it, there is it does make sense to, to do that I think you could I think you could do really well with that Sarah absolutely mm-hmm. if you want to if that's what you want to do and you want to grow your business um, I would say moving to a place with with more business is the way to go right yeah right you're just saying that so i can get out of here and well, be yeah. one less competitor <laughs> <laughs> nice moves <laughs> just sick <laughs> wheels that was good <laughs> i think you should go spoken like a true director <laughs> no but honestly like yeah. <laughs> if you it just depends on how you how you what kind of business you want and what kind of uh, marketing you're doing and where you want your business to be and, and if that's what you want you know like i said i moved here for lifestyle not business Mm-hmm. Because I, I didn't feel like starting a new business and and um, this was going to be the place to grow a huge you know to grow a huge company and and plus that's not what I want in life anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, but if that's what I wanted, I would have stayed in Vancouver. If that's if that's what I you know if right. it was the money and the business and all that stuff, I would never have left because right um, the business on the coast is doing really well. Yeah, um, it's established. It's it, there's no. You know, it just flows. Yeah. Um, so it definitely not a not a business decision to move, but um, yeah, if that's what what drives you, and if that's what you're focused on right now in your life, I would say look at it. Yeah. Look at it if that's if well, it's develop. not. But I'm just saying. It just I think you it know, depends. You never on know one day your yeah. values and what you consider as success, right? So whether it's 100%. money or whether it's like you've done with your lifestyle, right? So yeah. you know, for your family who have the business still down on the coast, they might see it as successful mm-hmm. because of the money that they're bringing Correct. in. Whereas you feel successful because you've got this lifestyle mm-hmm. in the Okanagan now. Hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's 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 mm. subjective, right? It is so, subjective. Yeah. Success is subjective. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a good point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Totally. Someone That's once not said, being hung over on a Saturday. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna celebrate with some gin. Yeah. <laughs> Is it lemon gin? Yeah. Oh, right. Of course it Speeds is. up the metabolism. You got to nice. get that lemon in there. It's healthy. <laughs> okay. Love it. I was going a different direction with lemon gin, but okay. okay. We'll go the metabolism <laughs> way. <laughs> um, are we allowed to talk about your employee? Sure. Yes. Can you can. tell us a story about your employee? Yes. Um, so I have an employee, Taylor, a young girl, 24 years old. 
Um, I, so when I moved to Penticton, um, I was skateboarding and I would see this girl around a lot at the park and whatever, never talked to her. Um, and then I saw a post about her a few months back that she was homeless and living at the skate park. Holy shit. I saw that too. Oh, on, really? On Facebook. Yeah. 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 So okay, go on, give her. I reached out to her <laughs> and said, Hey, if you want, if you're interested in work, um, mm -hmm. or learning a trade or whatever, I can help you out. So kind of started very slowly and we, we just started chatting and, um, it's kind of developed from there. And, um, you know, she's struggled with a lot of things in life and, and I've, I've helped her. Mm -hmm. Um, I've, I've taken her to the door. She's walked through all these doors herself. Mm -hmm. Um, I've just kind of given her a chance to, to, to do that. And um, so she's changed her life like 360. Like she went from living on the streets. I bought her a, a trailer to live in, yeah. uh, which she's paying off. So now she's almost owned that trailer herself. So she'll never be homeless again. She at least has that. I've given her a job um, and I'm teaching her a trade. Cool. So she's taking these skills. She's earning money. She can take these. I don't, you know, if she wants to move on to another another company and work for them a hundred percent. I'm giving her, um, life skills and kind of helped her, you know, she kind of grew up with, with no parents and no direction in life. Mm -hmm. And she, she was really lacking that and just needs a little, a break, a break just and, and a just break. someone to support her because navigating yourself now, I mean, now that I'm helping her out and, and learning about the, the back end of things and trying to navigate, um, through the, you know, all the government stuff and, and all that is just insane. Even for, uh, you know, a, an, an everyday person or, or someone that's that isn't struggling, doing all that stuff is so hard. And trying you get, to get an ID, trying to get this is it. She doesn't have she, she has an ID. She hasn't had um, BC ID for like four or five years. I've yeah. helped her with that. Yeah. MSP. And it's just all these little hurdles that she's kind of got up to herself. And then someone said no. And, yeah. And just like you know, where do you turn? So I've, yeah. um, and it's so easy to give up, it is you know, so you hear so easy. many no's, you're just like, fuck it. Then you I turn, will live on the no. streets and it's exactly. just easier to do it that way. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. She's got a dog too, doesn't she? She, she? had a dog. Yeah. She had a dog. She had, she had to unfortunately give it up, but it was the right, the right mm -hmm. move. Yeah. Um, cause she's got to focus on herself right now and, and yeah. what she is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she's an unbelievable person. Um, you know, suffered with some um, uh, dependency issues and, and stuff like that, which mm -hmm. I've helped her. She's clean. She's been yeah. clean for like two or three months. This is the first time in four or five years she's um, she hasn't been alone on Christmas or by mm -hmm. herself over, you know, holidays. Awesome. She's clean, sober. I can't tell you like the difference just the physical difference yeah is unbelievable yeah like unbelievable two months clean and like she looks amazing yeah and the attitude and just the way she carries herself everything and, yeah and going back to this the, the universe situation and the mm -hmm. vibration and all that stuff i swear to god like everything went wrong for this girl mm -hmm. like all the time and it's because she was just that that was just her vibration you know yeah. it's just negative she's like Nothing good ever happens to me. I always, yeah. you know, everything bad always happens to me. And I'm like, it's just, it's a cycle and you're in this zone and it's the. It's a snowball, it's right? A snowball, it's a snowball. Like one there, negative leads exactly. to another. So give I her mean, that one positive she needed to snowball the rest of the positivity, exactly. right? Totally. Yeah. yeah. Get, get off, get off the, you know, the, the drugs and right away, mm -hmm. right away things start clearing up. Right. Yeah. So, um, yeah, she's she's moving forward and not looking backwards and super proud of yeah, her. That's freaking awesome. Yeah, that's it's, awesome. It's so awesome to be able we to need help more people like that in this community. Right. I think there are a yeah. lot of people like that, but it's yeah. just maybe they don't have um, an opportunity to provide for someone like people want to help out. Right. But maybe they don't like I'm lucky enough to have a business that I could invite her into and, mm -hmm. and you know, yeah. And that's a risk too, right? Because you didn't Huge know her risk. from a hole in the ground. It's mm -hmm. not like she had a an interview or background check that you could follow up on. Facebook. Like you just took that chance. I did, and it's 
But you could you saw something in her, obviously, I right? Saw, and I then did. and I think a lot of people did because this a thing on Facebook, did. they they were coming to her rescue because yep. she was standing up for the kids at the skate park. There mm-hmm. was you know some other little assholes who were being punks, and she would stand up yep. for the 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 little ones who couldn't oh, fend really? for themselves. And I think that right there spoke to her character, and mm-hmm. that was people were they saw her as a human and not just somebody right just being exactly. lazy or whatever. You know what I mean? Totally. Yeah. There, yeah. So I think that that made people want to help her for sure as well they saw some good in her yeah and i think when you see people that um want want the help like you see a lot of people that are just you know Mm -hmm. on the streets and they don't want anything to do with you or they don't want the help or they or they've just been told no so many freaking times or hit so many roadblocks they've given Mm -hmm. up exactly yeah Yeah. Yeah. so she's she didn't quite she hadn't quite given up completely she was still sticking up for the little kids right so yeah so yeah. yeah it's it's awesome got another person in the community that's at, and she's so she's so great like she goes around and collects garbage cleans up stuff all the time she's um she's like a positive uh person in the community so. yeah that's good she's an asset for she's you guys a, and the community then. totally yeah yeah absolutely this is um it was very meaningful to me to hear you tell me that story and you you went into a little more depth when we talked about this mm-hmm. before about her background and right. stuff but um it it means a lot to me to have friends like you and people who do these kinds of things for other people like mm-hmm. that those are the kinds of people i want to hang out with mm-hmm. and surround myself with like just positive uplifting mm-hmm. upstanding human beings oh wow yeah, yeah. jeez i gotta it's... come on this show more often <laughs> you know what i mean can you... yeah, I, you I stroked them good so, i know stroked them good can, I, can you leave a google <laughs> review a good yeah review. obviously yeah <laughs> That. he just asks for a google review like it's That's nothing so right? weird just to me there, can you just type that all out please? absolutely <laughs> you know i will <laughs> well thank you sarah that's so awesome and uh, you know what um for me it's just the it's just there's no black and white it's like you just you're a good person and that's all i want to be like i just mm-hmm. i i have you know i just want to help people yeah make that makes me feel good yep um but uh, I do. I want to help people, and and sometimes it's it's to my demise. Yeah, you know, for I, sure. I, I get the shitty end of the stick. <laughs> the sometimes. nice guy finishes last. Correct. Kind of situation. The nice guy finish la- finishes last. Yeah, mm-hmm. but um, <laughs> Jenny, stop! I can just see. <laughs> I can just see in your fucking eyes. The good girl finishes first. <laughs> I'm just here to finish. Oh, good. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's. Uh, it's interesting, but um, yeah, that was that was a, a great opportunity for me, and um, yeah, I'm grateful for and it. So. And it sounds like she's sort of almost become part of the family, like not directly, but yeah, you know, like totally it, for sure. She's come over, f- you know, she comes over for dinners, and she no, like hangs out with the kids. Aw, and they probably just love that. They do, yeah. Like they're like um, the other day. She, she came swimming with us and they were so excited that she was coming and, and doing stuff with us and hanging Wicked. out. Wicked. That's is, cool. Yeah, it is cool. Be so. like Auntie Taylor. Auntie Taylor, yeah. <laughs> day, day, day. Day, day. Day, day. On that man. note. Yeah, that, I think it's super cool that you did that. Um, it takes a lot of balls too, to 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 do something like that. It takes, you You know, you got, you're putting yourself out there and not, not only in this situation that I was putting myself out there, I was putting my business out there. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. And it has been a little rocky at some, sometimes, you know, when you're, you take someone to see a client or it's just, it is, it can get a little rocky when people don't know how to, um, what to say or, or act or behave in yeah. front, you know, in certain situations. So I definitely um, have put my business reputation kind of out there yep. in a way, if you understand that. But yep. um, yeah, it's. But it's cool for people who are listening to this to hear that side of yes. it where maybe they have been in that situation with you and her. And now right. they're like, oh, right. You know yes, what I mean? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. I so, need but, to be more like that. Yeah, yeah. I could be better. Yeah. 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 And and I think you're being very modest, <laughs> as, as you always are, because you say like, oh, I just gave her these doors to open and well, she, really, she walked through them, which is true. It is because without her, like, I could take you, I could push you through the door. If you don't want to be there, if that's you don't right. want to do it, that's cool. yeah. that's there's right. just no hope, right? Yeah. But for uh, what I mean by you being modest is that you you did give her those doors yeah. to open and no one else did. 
So to me, like I got goosebumps just mm-hmm. saying that, that, that tells me everything about you. Oh mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's fucking, fucking rad. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Don't fucking cry, okay? Because I don't want to have to cry. And then... No, I'm not going to cry. I cried on the last one. Did you? That was embarrassing on Holly's episode. Oh, oh not the last one. Two episodes ago now. Oh, um, Jesus. Yeah. I just, just when it hits you. Kevin and Holly both bald. Oh, oh man. wow. And then I bald later on, just like Jeez. sending my love to Holly. I'm just like, ah. Okay. Oh, anyway. <laughs> no one day, I hope one day I can get you that emotional. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it'll happen. I'm a crybaby. Mm-hmm. I cried three times in my past life regression. Oh, <laughs> three Jesus. fucking times. Holy smokes. Wow. How embarrassing. Anyway. Um, what else? Anything else you want to talk about? Um, geez, Jenny, you got more questions? No. Um, I think just uh, getting back to your, your whole family and your wife and kids. Mm-hmm. They were, were they on board right from the get-go of, of moving here? I mean, I know you touched on your wife and her family yeah. being from the coast and, and or having the family on the coast. Um, but were, what, did it take much to convince her to come this way? Or, and um, were, what were the kids like? Were they excited to move to a new place? Or were totally. they like, don't want to leave their friends and what they know like at such a young age? Yeah. I mean, <clears throat> did it matter to them really? For sure. All of the above. They, mm-hmm. um, they definitely... The kids had mixed feelings for sure but i think more excitement than mm-hmm. than anything else yeah um but for them it was leaving their school and leaving their friends which 100 percent. and that for me and and my wife um that that's the biggest thing is moving somewhere and the kids are the kids going to be okay are they going to fit in in school are they going to make friends are they you know all of those things that that overall <clears throat> out of everything that was my biggest stress mm-hmm. that was my my biggest worry mm-hmm. was um, we're going to move to this place. The kids are going to have a hard time in school. It's, it's, you know, it's not going to be good and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. That was a stress for me, but it was the opposite. Cool. It was the complete opposite. Yeah. They moved here. The kids in the school embraced them. The schools here are so unbelievable. Yeah. Compared to the coast because it is a smaller community. Mm-hmm. Um, my one son's school, they only have like 300 kids or something and they have the breakfast club the breakfast program every yeah. morning which my wife is a part of oh, and cool. she, awesome. yeah Good. she's really got involved in that and she volunteers um three or four times a week and oh, she yeah does the lunches Amazing. and the breakfast yeah so it is um they they have really enjoyed it mm-hmm. and embraced the move which yeah. is amazing and as adults we can we can fit in and and change right it's yeah. easier for us i think mm-hmm. um but it did take a bit of convincing like i said to get my wife to move here mm-hmm. yeah but once we started shopping for houses and started coming out here you know a little more often to look at places and things started developing and getting more exciting yeah then um she yeah. jumped on board pretty fast awesome yeah. awesome no regrets no, no regrets. No, no regrets. No, no regrets. No regrets. <laughs> no yeah. regrets. I'm going to tattoo Reg- that on you. Yes. That'll be your tattoo. Reg- no regrets. Uh, <laughs> no regrets. Oh, man. <laughs> well, now the thing to look forward to, I guess, is um, when you live in the Okanagan, everybody comes right? out of the woodworks and right? just like you, your whole summer is going to be filled with people just wanting to come visit and just wanting to vacation. And you're like, can I just enjoy my, my I know, hometown I now? But yeah. I noticed, yeah, I, a lot of people, oh, Oh, hey, we're gonna come stay with you. And yeah, yeah, just for two weeks, it'll be fine. Yeah, right. Yeah, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> they got hotels for that shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and like everybody, really good Airbnb here. down yeah. the road. Totally. Everyone has an Airbnb yeah. these days. Actually, yes. it's Lucy's the one that's usually like, mm, well, maybe not like this <laughs> week. And I'm like, yeah, bring it on. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, bring yeah. your friends too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. We'll rent You're... a boat. We're going out. <laughs> I was just telling someone the other day, I was talking about you. I'm like, she's like Michelangelo from the Ninja Turtles. She's just always in party mode. Oh, my God. <laughs> Calabonga, dude. Let's yeah. go. Hey, let's bring that back. Totally. Yeah. Calabonga. Frick, yeah. Why not? We can make shirts hashtag with Calabonga. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. Every time we post something, it'll be hashtag Calabonga. <laughs> I'm trying to build my business here and not destroy it. That'd be an amazing hashtag. It would be actually. Cowabunga. All right. Done. All right. We're making this a thing now. It's going to be a cowabunga summer. I like it. 
cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure now with like your big family too, you'll have everybody just. Yes. And you already said this was a kind of a vacation spot for your family. Yep. So now they've got a free place to stay and that's just wonderful. Well, we bought a small house um, <laughs> <laughs> because of that. So forward <laughs> thinking. He's they a business here, but they cannot stay with us. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm awesome. just kidding. Um, yes. Yeah, it is. But it's nice to have people come, you know, mm-hmm come here and see your city and you get to show it off and we have yeah. so yeah. many fun things to do and yeah. the channel and hiking and the lakes and yeah come and see this place you yeah. know like it's awesome yeah and spend yeah. your money here man yeah. yep <laughs> yep support local bring on the tourism but not yeah. too many yeah, yeah not too yeah. many <laughs> just not the you. ones we like the last yeah. couple summers have been pretty pretty chill yeah the one in 2020 in particular was very chill yeah there was because they weren't allowing anyone to travel right, right? so you just had the whole beach to yourself and not to yourself. But mm-hmm. It was nice. Even for a while, I think we weren't supposed to go to the beach. Yeah. And then they were like, well, okay. Well, yeah, that's right. That. <laughs> go to the beach, but you got to wear your mask. Yes. Yeah. Full hazmat. Full scuba suit. gear. And, yeah. yeah. I see people swimming with their masks on. Really? Yeah. 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 I swim at, I swim twice a week at, at yeah. our indoor pool here. And yeah, there's people that wear their masks while swimming. Yeah, I saw it's this super lady weird. with like one of those scuba masks and she just walked around the whole, like with the scuba mask on 24 seven. Oh, really? Yeah, with like the snorkel coming out the top. Yeah, <laughs> it's just... yeah. I'm the biggest nerd at the pool too. I have this, the snorkel that comes down the middle of oh, my face and it? goes yeah, back. Yeah, nice. But I don't have the full headgear, just that and yeah. pair of goggles. But yeah, there I have seen people who like full on swim with their masks yeah. and then people who mm. do like their... They're like aqua size with masks on and holy I mean, shit. I yeah. feel like I'd be, I'd feel claustrophobic. Like you take a deep breath in and mm. you ex, like you inhale that. Well, you don't take a deep breath in underwater <laughs> no. to be fair, but. I do. It's been a long time since I've been swimming. Back in my day. Now go under and take a deep breath. <laughs> Back before COVID. <laughs> uh. But I know what you mean, Jenny. <laughs> I'm just being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frig. Uh, anyway, Ooh. do you have any book recommendations? I do. Funnily enough, I'm not much of a reader, and I wish I was. Yeah, I re- that's I'm not you know, either. something. Don't let the glasses fool you. Yes. Oh yeah. God. I know. Look. Look how stupid I look when I take them off. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm used to seeing you without. Without, aren't I? Um, probably. I should wear my glasses all the time. Oh, we should talk more about the head, the f- tattoo on your head. Oh, yeah. Like, nobody can see my hand moving or your head. Yeah. That is so fucking cool. Done, but That's really cool. It so, looks like some Buddha kind of it stuff is. or something. It is Buddha. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Buddha with um, with the hand of, what is that called? The hand of something? <laughs> You're not asking the, the right of person God. here. No. <laughs> it's, um, yeah. It's yes. cool. It's uh, He's bald for I people who bald. can't see him right now, but you'll yes. see a picture. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Dwayne's got his whole head tattooed yeah and that's awesome that's well thank you awesome. you know what a funny story which people will think i'm crazy I, I when i went to get this done mm-hmm. that wasn't my initial plan to get my head tattooed like this oh. and the um tattoo artist talked me into it yeah cool <laughs> that's a good <laughs> tattoo artist yeah it was... i looked up buddha's hand and i got this <laughs> weird i don't know what that the looks, fuck that is what is that Some kind of a plant or something oh my god <laughs> That looks interesting. What is that hand? It is the, it is, now I got to find it. Just like a white outline of a hand on your head. It's the Hamza, right? Yes, the Hamza. Hamza hand. Oh, I I see. You know what? I'm going to try and find you this, this meaning of the Hamza that I like. The protection? The, there's a whole bunch. So depending on the way that the Hamza hand goes, Mm -hmm. it's either protection or allowing more into your life. Mm -hmm. But, um, Ham, let's see. I'm looking it up. Hamza hand. There's this thing called, what is it? The hamster. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely not uh, uh, young how- Jamie from Jill Rogan's uh, podcast here looking see. stuff up. <laughs> meaning. I don't know. There's like a really good meaning that I found. How did it feel? How's, how was oh, the, what was my... the pain out of a, a scale of one to 10? What yeah. was the pain? Um, like? like a 10. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this was like a six. There it is. This was like a six hour um, tattoo. Mm hmm. And right on the bone, there's mm-hmm. no escaping. Like you're uh, just, it's right there, right on your head. And did you take breaks? No, we didn't take any breaks. We just went. Oh, yeah. Oh. And at the end of it, I was sick. Like, yeah, I was. You're in shock. I probably. Was in shock. Yeah. yeah, for yeah. sure. I was like sick. Yeah. Six hours of solid pain. Yeah, yeah. that's nasty. Yeah, it was tough, and um, and that's why you see a lot of people. And 
there's a lot of people with just the outline done mm-hmm. on their head. Yeah. And they yeah. haven't got the yours shading Yours is fully done. like Mine shaded like solid, and like red colored and, and colored. And, and yeah. it's beautiful though. Like it is, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I love it. I never it. get to see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I right? guess. Yeah. Like, I never get to. Yeah. It's true. I still got to go get it finished. I, gotta, I haven't had touch ups or anything. So mm-hmm. yeah. yeah but yeah, awesome. I'm. Yeah. Tattoos. Cool. Everybody should just stalk you on Facebook so they can see this. Totally. Or you're going to post a picture. Never mind. No, we can we'll stalk him. Why don't you take a good picture of the top of his head for him? Yeah. I will. You know, a funny story about my tattoos is um, the reason why I got, well, not the reason why. I mean, I've, I'm, I've always been, a, you know, this is just our, our body's just our vessel. Yeah. We're inside our body. Yeah. You know, like this is just my car. If you put stickers on your car, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. But um, I was on a flight coming back from Peru. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm afraid of flying. <laughs> and this flight got out of control. Like the turbulence was just insane. I thought I was going to die. Whoa. Like I, I honestly, I was freaking out. Yeah. Like it was just, just insane. Never again. Never do Never again. again. I'm nope. like, I'm sitting there going, I don't want to be here. I'm going to die. I'm little, like, I just had a panic attack. Yeah. And one of the things that went through my head was, I want to have more tattoos. Like at the time, when I'm when I wow. feel like I'm gonna die, this was one of the prominent thoughts in my mind. Was mm-hmm. I wish I would covered myself in tattoos? And I'm going, what? no, way. what the hell kind of thought is that when yeah. you're gonna when you think you're gonna <laughs> die? So yeah. screw it. Look, I'm covering myself in tattoos. So. And you are you pretty much like head to toe? Um, I'm getting or, there. I just yeah. got a new one. Yeah, uh, two days ago, I oh. got a um, uh, what is it? It's a mermaid. I got a mermaid oh. on the back of my cool. arm. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm trying to get covered head to toe. No more on the face, but everything else I want, mm-hmm. I want yeah. covered. Sweet. Everything yeah. else? Well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lay it all out. Let's see what you <laughs> <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> I'm not Daryl, right? Good thing nobody can see our hand gestures right now. Right? Oh, Daryl. He's going to love this episode. What an ego stroke for him. Uh, uh, <laughs> stroke. <laughs> Stroke, 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 stroke. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, Too many strokes. Threw up in my mouth a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Um, yeah, okay, back to the book. Back to the book. Yeah, yeah, sorry. So what I was saying is um, I wish I read more. I, uh, I have ADHD and I suffer mm-hmm. with a bit of um, dyslexia. Mm-hmm. But um, a book that I would recommend is uh, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Okay. I have um, that book here. Do you really? I do. It is unbelievable. And it's not, it, it sounds like Think and Grow Rich. It's not about um, money. It is about, it's about your your life and, and, and how you manifest mm. things in your life. That's cool. And this is I'm going back like, this is an old book too. So like this is before this was all, you know, this is way before anything was, you know, um, public or people are thinking about this stuff this is old school okay and um a lot of really really good life information and um information on on manifesting and vibrating things in your life mm. hmm. good it's funny i have the book mm-hmm. here but i've never read it really <laughs> oh <my. laughs> i bought a whole bunch of them to put in my subscription box yeah uh which i did a few months back and i uh, just i never took it home and read it yet I don't read either. I actually really don't like reading at all. It, yeah. it bores me. It's a good night. It's a total thing. yawn fest. Um, and audiobooks make me fall asleep like instantly. So I've tried so hard. Really? I want to be a reader. I want to be a, like I see people that like read book like books and back like oh I read a book last night or I <laughs> yeah, read yeah. a whole book this week. I'm like Fuck, I can't even read. See, a page. I love books. I love the, Do you? the books. I love the smell of like the new ones, oh, the old yeah. ones, everything like going into an old bookshop. Yeah. I fucking love it. I can you spend read? days in it. Yeah. You read I, regularly? Re- I read regular books, but Damn. with life being busy and being having to multitask and stuff, like if yeah. I'm sitting and working and editing and stuff, yeah, I do yeah. listen to a lot of audio books. And, you know, I, the, sometimes the authors like just when they, when they're reading, right. it's they, their voices are cool and it makes you want to listen. Like it's better than my voice in my head. <laughs> I'd rather listen to Matthew McConaughey read a book to me than totally. me read a book to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my voice is annoying as fuck. <laughs> Especially when you go back and listen to it. Like I'm going to go back and listen to the podcast and be like, fuck, people have to listen to me talk I know, like that. Yeah. That's I don't know like how people, that? why podcast? do you even hang out with me? I'm fucking annoying. <laughs> to like, me, like <laughs> podcasts are way more interesting because there's a conversation Mm-hmm. There's not just one person with a monotonous voice reading a book, right? Mm-hmm. And m- more often than not, it's not even the author reading their own book. Yeah, yeah. So they yeah. don't have the same connection to it. Yeah, yeah. That's something that Joe Rogan talks about all the time, and I 
fully agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if you, yeah, unless yeah. you have like a really annoying voice, you should be reading your book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway. I that you know what actually the two books that I love the most were the authors were were reading their own books. That's, yeah. yeah. What books were those? It was um Untamed by Glennon Doyle, which is a popular one, and then uh Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. Oh. And actually that one would probably be your jam. Like oh, you'd really? probably like that. Yeah, I'll he just talked Green Lights is just you hit one green light and you continue to hit oh. all the green lights, right? It's that metaphor that you're just going to keep hitting green lights and well, the that... positivity and the good things are just, the ball's going to keep rolling. Dude. So, and it's Matthew McConaughey reading it. So you're just like fucking hanging Sweet. out with him. That's Dazed awesome. and confused, yeah, right? Like that's the guy you're chilling with. So yeah. Green I, light. Yeah. Check like it out it. for sure. I'm yeah. going to. Yeah. It's really nice. Good. Um, should I put those books? I'm going to put those books on with Dwayne's. Yeah. Or should I save them for when you get to be an actual guest? Ah, I don't want to be an actual guest. Oh, no. you're going to be an actual guest. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's talk I'll put them on. I'll put them on the website link. So if anyone wants to buy any any of those three books, Amazing. it'll be yeah, we've on the website. Them, might yeah. as well. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Should we ma- mention some other books just so you can get some more no, options? No, three's the limit. Playboy. Sorry. Oh, I have. Uh, I, can't, I, <laughs> can <yes. you? laughs> I can't read that. <laughs> articles right that's yeah. why we all the articles yeah. Yeah. i remember reading those articles like as a not as a kid but like with my best friend who was my neighbor yeah. we were like i think at what how old were we probably 12 or 13 reading playboys yeah and like, maxim had good articles you maxim, maxim was the best yeah, man maxim had good articles totally. yeah. i always flipped to the tech section and like they always had like yeah. the next coolest headphones yeah. and the next coolest Spy watches whatever and shit. yeah yeah I mean, is, are those magazines still around anymore i don't even know like, like, yeah, I don't know. yeah right, right? Yeah. I, I bet they are though the magazine and you know, forever. I've been trying to find magazines. Oh, yeah, you have, actually. Like, hardcore for my juniorpreneur class. Mm. Trying to find, like, teen or young adult magazines. Mm-hmm. Nobody freaking has any. So I went to eBay, typed in magazines, and all I got was, like, vintage Playboys. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, like, wow. vintage Hustlers, and I'm like, <laughs> Where was okay. this again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What site? Uh, I love that vintage eBay.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's really come a long ways. Nice. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, there's a lot, that's actually a really cool sh- shout out for me right now. If anyone has any teen or young adult magazines listening mm-hmm. to this, please get a hold of me. I like Teen them. Bop, where you used to get the big yeah, posters yeah, of like yeah. freaking Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Fuck <laughs> yes, I love. I don't know why they never had Tiffany Amber Thiessen as a oh, centerfold they, in those. Yeah, Kelly was Kapowski always, from Saved oh by the Bell. Yes. Target audience, right? Yeah. Target audience right, was yes. young straight girls. Yeah. So you got to put the cute she was boy hot. on it. She was hot back then, but I just saw a picture of her now. And I'm like, eh. Tiffany Amber oh. Is that that's is that Yeah, I, I wanted her to be my babysitter back then. And then right? I realized what that actually meant. <laughs> <and> now, <laughs> still want her to babysit me a little bit. <laughs> she's in a show nowadays called White Collar. Oh, you is she on that show on Netflix? No. Oh, shit. She's, uh, she's writing that one down. Plays uh, the wife of a detective. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a good show. Really, really good show. It's, yeah. it's not like a like a drama but it's anyway it's yeah good good show cool sweet thank you so much for being here both of you um i mean Dwayne, it's been a slice mm-hmm. really I've I've had that. Fun. Like, yeah i've had fun Do this again. i feel like i've gotten to know you like even more and yeah, a different here. side of you almost which is cool that's awesome yeah that's cool and i mean this is your both of your first times yeah. meeting each other totally. so. yeah that was awesome I i'm know. stoked about I'm it, so stoked about <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. oh, we're going for toss <laughs> if i like i feel like i'm like jenny's like my best friend right like i just tell people she's like my new best friend yeah but then everyone you meet is like your new best friend like everybody loves jenny (laughs) right (laughs) don't they get to know me (laughs) no no not at all you're one of the raddest chicks i know all right so let's talk more about (laughs) Dwayne. I change my cat's name from Wayne to Dwayne now. Yeah. You should. You should just. That's what I was talking about. I'm gonna yeah. give him the D. I think you should. I think you should. <laughs> he probably won't even notice. Yeah, he, he won't. Thinks, yeah, maybe not. Yeah. Well, he'll just have another issue. He'll yeah. need medication <laughs> or some fucking. <laughs> Let me know if you issues. ever get freaking asthma. I'll show you how to use your puffer. Yeah. <laughs> Have you told them they're adopted? <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you have to break that one to them. Oh, There's man. an issue. <laughs> <laughs> and that they're not mother of being related yeah. to yeah. each other. <laughs> You're not actually brothers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here, both of you. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. 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 Stay hip. 